welcome back here after a week and I've brought a new chapter for you all okay hope you'll enjoy the chapter okay for that first please take page number 108 so you'll come to know what is the chapter that we, I'm going to begin okay so so turn to page number 108 and please have a look there okay so you can see the topic there the chapter's name there how the little kite learned to fly so what do you think? Is it a story? Is it a drama? Or is it a poem? So I've taken this. Okay, this is a poem. Okay, it is written by Catherine Pyle. So today we are going to recite it. Hope you'll enjoy it. For that, uh, uh, today's work, okay, that I'll be giving you is, uh, you all is to uh, learn how to recite it. Okay, so for this, you need to listen to my pronunciation, the voice modulation, punctuation mark is very, very important. Okay, so let's try it out. Are you all ready? Please take page number 108. Okay. How the Little Kite Learned to Fly by Catherine Pyle. I never can do it, the little kite said. As he looked at the others high over his head. I know I should fall if I try to fly. Try, said the big kite, only try. Or I fear you will never learn at all. But the little kite said, I'm afraid I'll fall. The big kite nodded. Ah, well, goodbye. I'm off. And he rose towards the tranquil sky. Then the little kite's paper stirred at the sight, and trembling, he shook himself free for flight. First whirling and frightened, then braver grown, up, up he rose to the air alone, till the big kite looking down could see the little kite rising steadily. Then how the little kite trailed with pride, as he sailed with the big kite side by side. While far below he could see the ground and the boys like small spots moving around. They rested high in the quiet air and only the birds and the clouds were there. Oh, how happy I am, the little kite cried, and all because I was brave and tried. <laughs> 